Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Resocast episode 55, I believe. Uh, shut up, Triton. I'm Hove. I'm joined this week by the Manigator, Triton, please. No Lego this week. He couldn't make it, but... We brought along very special guest, Briar Rabbit. What's up, Briar? How are you, man? Why is Lego dodging me, man? I'm really insulted about this. <laughs> I was promised full ResoCast staff. Lego is not here. I It was in my rider. No green M&Ms. No Lego. What the fuck? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I told We're him. failing you, man. Yeah, oh. I told him, you know, we had a really cool guest coming on. He was going to have a lot of fun. He was like, oh, that's great. Who is it? I said Briar, and he hung up the phone, and I haven't heard from him since. That was two. That was two weeks ago. Well, at least Lego picked up the phone for you guys. If you don't leave a voicemail, or if I don't leave a voicemail, I don't get a return anything. I had to page him instead. So, at least Paging he was on the phone. Lego paging, paging Lego. Lego. We should buy Lego pager. Actually, anytime we have like audio issues and he's not here, we can page him. Would be great. Well, least, I wonder if they still work. They would have to still work, I right? Don't know. If you want uh, him to pick up every single time, all you need to do is leave a voicemail saying "fusion rifle" and he calls you right back. So I mean, I just go nine one one every time I do it. Nine one one. Where's the mustard? <laughs> <laughs> Can't find my underwear. Um, do I have any clean socks? <laughs> I actually know you by now. It's the same operator every time. <laughs> so you know, like Briar Rabbit. <laughs> They're like, no, no. We see your live streaming. No, stop it. <laughs> all right. Well, first of all, speaking of Lego, before we really dive into anything, really, uh, Lego felt the need to uh, throw out there that last week we we had some pretty uh, fairly strong criticisms. I, I, me personally, I had some some pretty strong things to say, but uh, there was also a Reddit post about the same time that mentioned a lot of the same points, but was much more negative and trolly and complainy. Aggressive. Yeah, aggressive would be a good word. And uh, you know, I, I I think it was it was it was pretty obvious. But you know, anytime you know, we all love the game. Like we're we try to give any con- criticism constructively, have some ideas to fix things. You know, like I said, we do love the game. We do like playing it. So if you thought we were a little angry last week, it was mostly just me. <clears throat> I didn't eat my Wheaties or. Whatever it was supposed off. to I had I needed a Snickers. I don't know. One of those things that is supposed to happen. We may have came off to being some negative Nancy's while expressing our concerns for the game well, at the time. Yeah, I mean I did you know, there there was, like I said, a Reddit post that some people uh had commented on and made it around Twitter and I read it and I was like, I made a lot of those same points. Mm. Did I sound like that? And I was I was legitimately a little bit worried. But uh, you know, like I said, we you know, we do it from a place of love and uh it's a hard line, right, to, to kind of tread is uh, the line where you're criticizing something you love, but you still love it. It's just mm-hmm. like you criticize it, hoping that it'll get better. It's like a, it's like that, that spouse. You know, you, you love it. You love that spouse. You just want it to pick up the fucking underwear every once in a while. <laughs> Without having to down 911. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, that out of the way. Uh Last week's been... Oh, there's Lego right now. Hi, Lego. I did your thing. Don't yell at me. Um, <laughs> so the last week's been good for me. Uh, I, I did another another raid, did a little trials, uh, still played a lot of PUBG, which is what I was doing today. Lego already told me that um, he was editing out any PUBG talk we had, and mm-hmm. I informed him that the entire podcast would be PUBG talk. So um, if you guys don't see an edited version of this on YouTube, it's because Lego just trashed the whole thing. Uh, it's but, just uh, gone. Yeah, the podcast is only five minutes long. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, uh, we're here with Briar, and uh, thanks a lot. See ya. Um, but no, uh, man. What about you, man? How's things been? Uh, just doing the same old thing. Like, play trials over the weekend. Uh, took a couple days off. Didn't really do much. Or oh, no, Fortnite. I was playing a lot of Fortnite actually. I've been kind of addicted to that. I really want to get back into PUBG, but uh, and let's see. Today I play seven hours or something like that of uh iron banner and, and you made it here on time and i made it here on time i was just playing some fortnite a little bit ago i had to dip out on gunga like actually like as we're starting the game i was just like oh i gotta go <laughs> <laughs> i look down at the clock he's like oh yep beast 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 and literally just dip she's probably still playing right now it probably didn't affect her she probably doesn't even realize i'm gone <clears throat> that's fair trying to get to do some iron banner or what I did get to do some Iron Banner. Oh, that's right, because you dodged me. Okay, 
I didn't dodge you hope. I really did want to play, but then I got with other Rezo members and I said like, oh, I get off at 10 and then one of the games went long and then you went and played PUBG instead. So I am trying to pawn this off on you, but I am responsible. I'm not going to go dodge, but we didn't get the chance to play. Uh, but I did play a lot of Iron Banner. I actually got in the raid for the first time uh, this past weekend, finally. So finally got in the raid, didn't uh, didn't complete it, but I oh. uh, did get a lot of Iron Banner done. Uh, but no, it was a good run. Uh, I was with some friends that were super patient, really good explanation. It was just one of those things I think three or four of us had never been in there, so that just kind of caught up to us at Callus a little bit. Uh, but still fun time. Uh, Iron Banner's been uh, pretty fun for me. I like that it's control. Um, I've played it a lot on, I think I'm almost done with the seasonal reward on my own account. And then I actually jumped on a friend's account for like an hour before the podcast. That's how much I'm enjoying it. So, uh, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty decent week so far. How about you, Briar? Uh, mostly the same you guys have been doing. I've been doing some Iron Banner, really enjoying the new Iron Banner, to be honest with you. I know there's a lot of complaints about the loot system and the reward system. Uh, but I'm just having fun playing Control and Destiny 2 and not having any other game modes mixed in, so I'm really having a good time. Uh, did get to raid uh, last week, and that was fun. It's I really enjoyed the new raid as well. There's some, mm-hmm. definitely a learning curve, like you were saying before about uh, the Callus fight. Um, but I feel like it's one of those things that once you get a group in there, uh, the first time is going to be rough, but then you bring the same group back the second time, and you're going to be able to, you know, be chatting and making fun of each other the whole way through because everybody knows their role. Yeah, I think we are getting to that point. You could feel that. Like, we, we try to do, like, the reverse psychology of sorts. Like, oh, last one, guys. All got to go to bed. And then it'd be, like, a pretty good run. You get, like, the whole first wave done. And be like, oh, what do we want to quit? So I could see that. But it, w- it was just kind of, I think, survivability in the throne room was like, probably our big our big sticking point. But uh, having oh, really? watched streams, it seems like, yeah, like you're saying, it seems like people can just go back after you know what you're doing and, you know, when you should make the call outs and how you should position yourself in the throne room and then, you know, it's like an hour and a half raid. Some people were even doing like an hour, I guess. Some friends of mine told me so. I'd be yeah. Interested. For me, it's been the uh, darkness zone that's really been the hangout for the Callus fight. I, I, I learned it for the first time. I was with Hove, actually, and I was learning it the first time. We had a group. Hove, were there four new people in there? Uh, by the end, because we switched out, there was at least th- three, maybe four. Yeah. And uh, so I was learning that for the first time but it was it's usually it's it's usually the people in the darkness zone that i find are dying i'm surprised to hear you people in the throne room i um well first uh uh briar you got the uh the robot voice going on again just so you know <laughs> oh no <laughs> hesitation <he's> <laughs> no hesitation <laughs> um but no i i think the raid is kind of what we we kind of said at the beginning I'm sure you sound lovely now, Briar. Oh, I'll yes, get faster do. and faster at that. As we, <laughs> we, we laughed because you were gone immediately. Um, but no, that was kind of what we thought at the after the first week of the raid, that it was one that, because of how much teamwork and learning it was, that it was really hard and took a long time. But as you get people, like you said, a second time through, it's going to be one that you'll be able to nail down a lot faster as you go, as opposed to something like... Um, King's Fall, specifically Oryx, where no matter how good you were at it, you still had to run four phases and you could only do so much damage. And, you know, this is one. What was our goal that week, that night, Briar? What did we say we were going to run through it in 24 minutes? I think it took us yeah, five I, hours, but we went yeah, for 24 20, minutes. It was a little more than 24 minutes, not much more. It was five hours or so. It was good. We were, we were pretty much laughing the whole time, though. I oh, think we, yeah. we hit a moment where I think we started to go downhill a little bit, but then, I don't know, somebody cracked a joke and we were okay again. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Um, so before we get into too much more Destiny stuff, not that there aren't too many people here that have no idea who you are, Brian, but we're going to, we're going to get to know you a little bit. So why don't we start out, uh, why don't you tell us just a little bit about what you do with the Destiny community, kind of where you fit in and, uh, what you see yourself, uh, doing in the community. Uh, I've been doing all sorts of stuff in the Destiny community. Uh, I've been running a YouTube channel basically since Vanilla Destiny. I really started kind of focusing on Destiny, uh, probably around the time the Dark Below came out, uh, but I was flirting with it right at the launch. Um, but I was I was pretty much a Call of Duty guy uh, back then, and it was right at the time that was it Advanced Warfare? Yeah, it was Advanced Warfare came out. I didn't like that game. I was playing a ton of Destiny, so I kind of just gradually switched over my YouTube channel. Uh, I got hooked up with Planet Destiny a little bit after the Dark Below came out. Uh, we started. I just started doing some videos for them. Uh, we started up the Planet Destiny podcast, which we 
uh, disbanded and started up the Destiny Community podcast uh, about a year ago. I think just a year and a week or a year and two weeks ago. Uh, and I've been doing that. That's been a lot of fun. Uh, and I've been Twitch streaming for about a year and a half, uh, which I really like. That's yeah. become kind of my new favorite thing right now. Yeah, it, uh, I think you're right about the year because I think we're just over a year. And we started right around the same time you guys did because not going to lie, when we were like, oh, we're going to start a podcast. Oh, good, Planet Destiny. They're not doing one anymore. There's less yeah. competition. And then you guys Perfect. were like, oh, we're going to start a new one. We're like, fuck. <laughs> but, and uh, we got a sexy new logo, so take that. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you got Pope back, so I mean, you know, that was a big... Yeah, I mean, not everything turns out perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. But, uh, so are you, are you, what do you think you you prefer? If you had to pick one or the other, Twitch or YouTube? If I had to pick one today, uh, and I, I left the financial thing off the table, it'd definitely be Twitch. Uh, YouTube is much more of a revenue stream for me, uh, so it really keeps me, keeps me there. Uh, but Eventually, I think that the two will uh, kind of even out, and then Twitch will take over. Uh, and I'll probably, I'll still YouTube, but I will leave it to passion projects as opposed to uh, being reliant on it for income. Yeah, that seems to kind of be the, you know, Twitch is still kind of the up and coming thing, but it's, it's like you said, it's so much fun just being able to yeah. interact with people and, and play with different people and do things live. I, I do like making YouTube videos. There's mm -hmm. something about the creative process of having an idea and then outputting, you know, a five to ten minute long video, like based on that idea with, you know, with whatever production qualities you can muster. Like that's still fun. But YouTube uh, as a c company and as a site is kind of just it's not a great experience over there right now. Yeah, I don't I don't do enough YouTube to have any idea personally. But, you know, we, we hear a lot of that from most uh, you know, destiny content creators on, on YouTube at, at this point. So yeah, you know. YouTube's not the most friendly right now. How would you know? When was the last time you it. made a YouTube video? I used to dabble <laughs> in it, but you know, it's, I don't really dabble in it right now because of that. It was, it was a nice little side job, you know, that, that I was doing. It's, it's I used to put job. hours into it because I sucked <laughs> at editing. Yeah. I taught everything myself. You know, I, I learned everything not taught, but I taught myself is what I was trying to say. So now that I I'm, I still suck pretty much and I don't really get anything out of it. It kind of like I kind of want to because I did like uploading things, but I don't know. Like Briar said, it's just kind of not really. I much rather spend all my time on Twitch. It's, it's yeah. more fun. <clears throat> so before, you know, you said you were mostly Call of Duty before you got into Destiny. Is Was shooters kind of always your thing, or was that a, a, a Call of Duty thing? Were you into Halo? Where did you get your start as far as Yeah, basically, goes? Uh, when Goldeneye, Goldeneye came yes. out for the, was the N64, right? N64. Mm -hmm. I'm not crazy. That was pretty much when I knew. And then I, uh, shortly thereafter, uh, I also started playing some Doom and hooking up, uh, you know, multiple computers and playing multiplayer doom uh, then quake uh, and, you know kind of just moving forward with that the xbox came out and it had halo and that was revolutionary i thought halo was just about the coolest thing i'd ever seen um played halo 2 played halo 3 also started playing uh call of duty modern warfare uh, really dug on call of duty uh kind of because that was a yearly release as opposed to halo which was, was whatever three four years mm -hmm. it was just easier to stay like kind of on top of the Call of Duty scene. So I kind of just devoted a Twitch channel to the Call of Duty and just ran with it. Yeah, I, uh, I I was never a big Call of Duty guy. I Well, I was never a big Halo guy either, but that's just because I, I sucked at everything. Shame. Yeah. We've, we've been <laughs> over that. Has that, that changed? I Did I suck? No, I'm terrible. No. Actually, one of the comments <laughs> in chat already was, wait, Hove still streams? So, I mean, that tells you pretty much everything you need to know. Like right now, he's streaming right now. Yeah, right now, Tater. What the? <laughs> Don't bring that. He still streams shit here. <laughs> Get out of my every, face. Every Wednesday, well, one Wednesday, mostly Thursdays at ten. <laughs> yeah, I was so confused. Me and Briar were talking before the podcast. I was like, "Yeah, no twab today. That was weird." Deej didn't yeah. even say anything. Oh, yeah. And he was like, "Well, the twab comes out on Thursdays." I was like, "Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I noticed that too. I was like, "All ready to read the twab." I'm like, "Dang, man, they're really slacking today." And there was an update. Yeah, I was real weird. confused. Like Deej didn't Very like confused. say why there wasn't a twab. Meanwhile, it, that would you know, does he need to tell us every day there's no twab because it's not Thursday? 
Like, I don't know. Uh, that's me. I don't read really your podcast. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Tells me. Till that 44 <laughs> seconds before the show, mana, and you're scrolling, yep. you're scrolling the Bible. Oh, sorry, <laughs> shut up. Yeah. Is that why you guys chose Thursday for your podcast? <laughs> um, I mean, that, that definitely was part of it, but I think at the time it was just when we could all get together. Availability. Yeah. Um, we changed, I mean, what, the first couple, the first few months when we weren't doing it live, it was like Wednesday this week, Thursday this week, yeah. Sunday this week. And it became really hard, like, especially for me, because I'm generally uh, trying to get the guests and I had to go, I could only go a couple weeks ahead of time because I'm asking, okay, what days are we going to record this week? I need to tell people like when they're available. So um, we settled on Thursday and just, you know, figured... We just we, we just settled with playing second fiddle to uh, to another podcast that I think you're familiar with. Yeah, those Guardian Radio guys are pretty tough. <laughs> I feel like Lego's <laughs> going to just edit over Hove's explanation with whatever detail that really is. I honestly don't know. Whatever Hove said makes more sense than what I I thought as to why we're Thursday. Yeah. I don't oh, know. I'm not right. Oh, I don't know. I mean, you're probably, you sound right, but I'm like, I actually that sounds right, but I don't know. Like, Lego, is that right? It's a good day for a Destiny podcast because, you know, it's like literally like the biggest news day of the week. You know? Yeah. Might as well talk about it that day, right? I'm sure that's probably his reason. I would guess. It is the Lego reason. had that Just, in mind. Okay. Anyway, while we're on the topic of podcasting, <laughs> um, that's another thing that, you know, obviously you mentioned you're involved in, uh, Briar. That's something that, uh, what, what kind of got you into, into podcasting? How did that kind of come about? And, and now you're on two full time, correct? Yeah. Uh, my buddy, uh, I used to be on a softball team with a friend who really was into movies. Uh, and he got me on doing a podcast about movies, uh, which I really liked. Uh, unfortunately, the schedule was he he wanted to do two movies, like reviews on two movies per week. So I had to go to the movie theater and watch two movies per week, which I did for about two years. Wow. But eventually I was like, man, I just don't like movies anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's how I started podcasting, and then I wanted to do something with video games, so I started the uh, Beastly Thought Show on my YouTube channel, uh, then uh, joined the Planet Destiny podcast, I think in episode two, it might have been episode three, it was episode two or three, uh, and then we morphed it over to DCP, uh, the Beastly Thought Show ended, we started another podcast called Revolver, I just like podcasting because it's fun, it's basically like, uh, it's a... Uh, Scheduled appointment to hang out with your friends for an hour or two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's exactly, you know, like anytime we have a guest on, that's what I tell them. Like, listen, it's pretty much we'll talk about you, get to know you, and then we just bullshit for like an hour. But, you know, it's yeah. it's centered bullshit, directed bullshit. But uh, you're right. It's, it's you know, it's something that Lego came to came to us and kind of put it together. And it's it's been a blast. And. You know, like you said, it's it's a reason for us all to get together, and sometimes, most of the time, Triton doesn't make it. But you know, whatever. <laughs> um, this week it's the worst. Okay, I'm right. gonna go back through and look. I feel like I've missed maybe four now. I, it's it's probably more than that, but I, I'm gonna. Four. Go it's my four. first like ten episodes of being here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, ten minutes? Not even I've been on for ten. Come on, mana. Okay, like at least seven and a half. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. We'll move into, before we get into straight Destiny stuff, there's some some good questions here for Briar and for everyone uh, from Community Questions. Got some on Twitter. If you guys have any in chat, feel free to throw them in there. Uh, we're going to move on to those because I think Briar is going to enjoy some of them. I'm going to start out with one that he already mentioned to me. It's from a uh, Wilson309. He says, hey, Briar, remember that time you went to throw a Nova Bomb and you were a Bubble Titan? Good times. Nope, don't remember. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I don't think I've seen it, but I'm not sure it can beat the Pantheon. Was that you, Mana? Oh, gosh, you're going to bring this up. <laughs> I believe what happened was he was running down the heavy, and he jumped up over the heavy that hung off the cliff and went to put a bubble down on the heavy, except he was a striker titan and uh -huh. just smashed right off the side of the, the thing. It was, <laughs> it was TV. True Vanguard just laughed hysterically that's going to live on in infamy so oh. many people still bring that up everywhere like guardian con people are bringing up oh you're the bubble guy from tv stream I'm like ah. it's like i'm bubble guy on tv stream i'm the guy that's always dead in uh hobie's uh, highlight videos 
Man. <laughs> to be fair, though, Hovey's also the guy that's dead in all your highlight videos. True, true. People still think I suck because of his videos. <laughs> People if think I suck. you don't have a story like that, you're lying. <laughs> like if you did, if at some point playing trials, you didn't forget what subclass you were and pop the wrong super, you're lying. I'm sorry, you're a liar. <laughs> yeah, it's I, like I was playing as a striker the whole time before TV jumps on, and when TV jumped on, I was like, I'm gonna switch to strike, or yeah, I'm gonna switch to striker. You know, so I did the same exact thing. Heavy plops down on Pantheon. I go, I just beeline it to her. Uh, I just want to pop the bubble to troll the enemy team. I just fly off the cliff, and oh. Uh, it was bad. <laughs> TV just died laughing. <clears throat> we lost that round because TV was laughing and I was dead. I thought you won the round. <laughs> I, th I think that round we died, didn't we? Or we all failed I thought, because... I thought your, uh, your, your oh, health... I <laughs> yeah, I killed everybody. <laughs> so we were health and clutched it. We yeah. were all dead, I think. <laughs> uh, before we it go to the next question, funny. Lego, after 75 times, uh, just told me in chat... That when he has that issue, he just mutes everything, stops his recording, unplugs everything, replugs, and starts recording and unmute. Because now, Mana, you're also what? a little crackly really? robot. Yeah. I don't know what's going on today. Who would have thought the only one crack not as well? messing yeah. up his hove? That's why I want. I mean, so it's not, and I it's not the end of the world. I'm not mm -hmm. that upset about it. Lego's, Lego's confused, too. So, it's fine. I'm good. <laughs> I mean, <it's> <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm gonna go to one for everybody so that, so that we can you know me and triton will start first uh dirty root asks with the state of the game being tarnished by bad media eh, i don't know if i well what are you most looking forward to or would like to see moving forward uh i i mean okay so for me bad media like i I don't really read a ton of like article articles, so if bad media also just equates to like people's Twitter accounts, and I guess I've I've seen that. I I don't really consider that media per se. Um, social media. I mean, it's like a social media of sorts, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't I don't particularly think the the game is tarnished or, or anything like that. So it's hard to really. Okay, well I'll just cut really that say. out since you're having a hard time with this. What are you most okay. looking forward to? Would like to see moving forward. Uh... I actually enjoy the game as it is. I mean, it, there's things that we certainly want to have added into the game. Just like kind of we talked a little bit offline about, you know, if you, you know, even if you love something, you may want to have additions or have some things change. I think that's where, you know, a lot of our critiques from the last episode came from where we're offering up solutions. We're not talking about wasting money. Or we're not talking about the fact that we hate or hate this or hate that or people are out to get us. Um, I mean, I would like to see with the seasons, maybe different rules on the weapons that we get so often. So in season two, maybe the rule that you get for, um, you know, skate lock or origin story or whatever is, is a different, different role than we get right now. That would be pretty cool. I, I think that way we get incentive to come back. If you're getting them at high frequency, then I don't think people are going to be all upset about like, Oh, I'm not going to get this gun if I don't play a little bit. Cause everyone's saying right now, you just get them in, uh, you know, endlessly. So I think that would be cool. Um, you know, I think maybe a little bit more variety in PVP side. I'm not going to go as far to say maybe having that ranked playlist or, or whatever, have, you know, leaderboards. But maybe I, I, I really wanted Sixes to come back. I'm very happy they did the map. I think that's been great for Iron Banner. But if maybe another mode or just like Rumble came back, I think that would be cool. I would like to see that hopefully in the next like three to six months, I guess. <laughs> That'd be okay. And I'm really dragging. I really don't have as much to say about this, but like if everyone's mic is still messed up, I'll just. Uh, I'm back. Up. I don't know if I'm still Okay. Here. You're good. Yeah. You're uh, good. Do you, do you like the change from four or from sixes to fours or from threes to fours? Or like, are you satisfied with that? I mean, we've had a month to play it now. Like, what do you guys think? In some modes, I think uh, this Iron Banner for control, I, I thought it's been fine. I think that helps with the way the maps are designed too. Uh, but there's just times where I just I, I like having always people everywhere. I don't know. There's just certain modes where like, oh, there's always someone to shoot. There's always something to do. Um, I wasn't as big into the threes. I wasn't a sweats guy. Um, but I've gotten used to it a little bit more. Um, but I still like the variety of having like game modes one, you know, solo threes and sixes. I thought that that was uh, like variety. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Uh, go God, ahead. I was just. Saying, I don't think I mind the fours itself. But, you know, one of the things that, and, and we kind of thought this was an issue right from the, the get-go, from the beta, it just seems like for all the talk 
they've had of solo players being able to just come in and pick this game up and it'd be easy for everyone to pick up. I think it's harder in PvP now to come in and not have played the game and really enjoy it. Even people that play the game all the time that go in solo, <coughs> excuse me, go in solo aren't having as much fun. And I don't know if that's solely because of the style of fours or if it's, I'm sure it's a combination of time to kill fours, you know, a lot of different things, but I do like the variety when we had it. Yeah. Before I say anything, does my voice, am I still crackly? Yep. Almighty. Crap. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> don't leave us, man. Oh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly um, answer this question for for Briar because he he told me the other day the one thing he's looking forward to the most is uh, now that they brought back Shores of Time in a way he says that he really would like back Sector Six Eighteen. That is um, a bold face <laughs> lie. <laughs> I came back hearing Sector You're good. You're good. and I'm instantly triggered. <laughs> yes, instantly <laughs> triggered. Do I sound okay right now? Yeah, you're good. We were in a. That's so weird. Uh, Briar was streaming, and I, I we were talking about the map coming back, and I said, all I want back is Sector 618. And Briar got this, like, real serious face, and he was like, Hove, I want to punch you in the fucking face right now. <laughs> I swear to God, if you were here, I would punch you right in the face. <laughs> Good. Good. I agree with that. I think that was justified. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. But uh, as far as my, my, my real answer, I mean, the, the easy short answer is... Uh, I just think there's got to be some changes to Endgame. I, I there's there's got to be there's got to be something else in the in the future. And I, I agree with that. I think there's going to be, but they're smarter than me. I don't know what it's going to be. I'm not even going to speculate. I want there to be that Endgame grind on Crucible. I want I want to jump into Crucible and want to like I want something else there. Kind of like what Trian was saying earlier, like maybe ranked and like the competitive or uh have it to where if you level up shack so many times with your crucible rep maybe you get something like at level 30 or something you you're trying to work for something at level 60 you get like a cool shader or something you know something like that i want end game grind anywhere yeah in yeah. any part of the game even strikes if you get cool looking stuff from doing strikes so many times maybe i'll actually dabble in pve for once you know that uh <laughs> shower thought today is it they could keep all the same gear they had. They could keep like the same basic loot pool they had. But if they had a bunch of smaller pools that were exclusively available per activity, so Crucible had a very small pool that you could only get as drops in Crucible. Uh, if Strikes had a very small pool that you could only get from doing Strikes, same with public events on each planet, uh, same with the raids, same with trials. You know, if like, each event had a very specific loot pool then you'd spread your time around on each of those events yep. as opposed to just running public events and getting like 90% of the loot that's available in the game. Well, the and not the problem. I don't have a problem with that. I think that's great, but haven't – I mean, didn't we used to have that? And they've yeah. moved away from it, you know, purposely, um, which I don't – you know, they've gone to this whole everybody can get everything from anywhere. You can do whatever you want, and you'll get everything, which – I can't believe I'm about to say this, but Triton made one of the best points I think I've heard in a long time last week. He said they can't have it both ways. They've always had this thing about become legend, and they want to have these things out there, and you look at someone and you go, wow, look at that thing he has. How do I get that? Like, And they have something you don't. But then they're also just giving everyone everything so that no one is left out. Like You can't have it both ways, and they seem to be talking about one and doing the other to a point. This game feels like a response to all the complaints of Vanilla Destiny, but doesn't take into account where the game went with DLCs later, with the Taken King and with Rise of Iron, right? is mm -hmm. like A lot of the player base was very upset in Vanilla Destiny that you had to do the raid 30 times to get level 30 boots out of it, and you might never get them, right? Now, that's definitely not going to be a problem. No. Uh, but it doesn't take into account any of the smart loot system or uh, the different roles on, uh, you know, like the, the unique features on raid gear that they they started doing or strike specific loot that they started doing or custom games that they started doing. Like there's so many of these features that got introduced later in Destiny's life cycle that just don't seem to be represented in Destiny 2. It very f much feels like a, a sequel to Destiny Vanilla, but not Rise of Iron. 
I think that's a great point, Briar, because they got like to me it means like they got kind of halfway there. the The hardest part about uh, doing vaulted glass to get the thirty was not only just the way the loot dropped, but that was the only way to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, but like within that though, like the fact that there were certain guns like Fatebringer or if you want to like Praetor's Revenge or those types of things, I don't know if those were really like the problem. So if you look at Destiny Two, if there was a lot of ways to get to max light level, but like you're saying, each one of the activities had specific loot that could get you there, that would accomplish both things, right? You wouldn't, you know, cast out people who could only grind all the time in one activity and like lose their minds. But you would still give incentive for the people who already got to max light level. Said, "Hey, like I do want this gun at the maximum light level. Let me just play this activity and focus my grind here." I think, you know, hopefully that could be something they introduce. Right? I I, I agree though. I think they got halfway there, and, and maybe they just went too far in one sense, in, in one direction. Talking about the small little pool of like specific loot. How about those Iron Banner packages where you get scathe locks instead of the things you want from Iron Banner? Yeah, I've it's got, been like, killing me today. It's been killing me today. Boots, like, four times. <laughs> I really yeah. just want Iron Banner loot, <laughs> but they're giving me everything else I can get from other packages. Mm -hmm. So the problem, is, the problem is, if they give you everything in week one, what are you going to do next time it comes around? Like, if you get full armor sets this week and, and full weapon sets this week, <clears> next <throat> time it comes around, you'll be like, there's no end game in Destiny. I guess, but it still hurts, man. <laughs> but I, I just hope, and I'm kind of worried that it is going to happen. I mean, I, you know, I think DLCs and, and events moving forward will have new cool stuff in them, but I'm also partially worried that they're just going to bring back some of these things we're talking about that we already had in Destiny 1 and call it new content. You know, hey, we added all this strike-specific loot, and we're like, yeah, well, why didn't we have that before? You know? Now here's here's uh private matches well i still think with those things i mean i agree like you know what maybe why we have the get-go but i mean if it was something that was legitimately good from the game you know i i won't mind it if it, it comes back around and maybe they they do it in another form i agree you know could we've had it from the get-go but you know i think and we try to present this early i think we're all optimistic and like they've done things they've usually answered the the calls of the community in, oh, yeah. in a way that that is always more beneficial than i think a lot of the you know or i'll just speak for myself i would suggest so i think we're all optimistic for that so this way we don't have to do a disclaimer at the beginning of the network, so. <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> so whatever minute mark this is let's mark this yeah brian could say whatever the hell he wants he doesn't have to answer to anybody yeah, here i really hope they well, start introducing game modes back like more game modes from before back in even if it's like a uh limited time like event you know you know, bring back some duos or something, you know, or even ranked duos, like some rank playlists here and there. If they if they tweak that a little bit, those I really hope because a lot of people are just craving different things. Because that one playlist in a uh, quick play where you can get like what supremacy, control, or uh, clash. Yeah, just I don't know. Like it needs to either stop being completely RNG <clears throat> and just be like a rotation and whatever server you're in. Because I get supremacy way too much. Yeah. And after a while, it just becomes annoying, you know? <clears throat> I miss Rumble a lot. Like, me too. Than I thought so I does Lego. I, I used to guy. love me some Rumble. Yeah, I used man, to be was... like actually aggressive in it. Like comp not, not competitive in my sense. Like I wanted to win every single time, you know? I loved it. <clears throat> I could go either way with it. Sometimes I'd really like grind Rumble trying to win. But it was also kind of my relaxation thing. I didn't have to worry about who's on my team and what's the yeah. objective. I just landed and started killing people, and that was fun, and it was low stress. I know that you know a lot of people think low stress and rumble, really. It was for me. It was just a low stress kind of thing. It was fun. I miss it. Well, I think the one thing people don't, some people don't quite understand is that any of them can be low stress. It just depends on what you want. Like, if you enjoyed rumble and you just yeah. had fun in it, it was low stress for you. Yeah. But anyway, moving on, we'll take another serious question here. Um, Rezo Claw would like to know. So why the name Briar Rabbit? Do you just really like rabbits that live in prickly bushes? <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. <laughs> uh, I I grew up with that story, and it always stuck in my head. I always like the like kind of the story of the rabbit getting chased by the fox. You know, kind of the misbehaving rabbit uh, getting himself kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place, and. Uh, even back when I used to play like uh, Quake uh, online, I used to always pick the name Briar Rabbit. It's like every, every like online ID I've ever signed up for was Briar Rabbit, so I just kind of kept with it. 
And That's then, also my favorite ride at Disney, by the way, Splash Mountain, still to this day. <laughs> <laughs> the story of Briar Rabbit. All right, uh, question for everyone. Uh, Lego Lay Flash, a.k.a. Lego Lay Dong Blade, um, he wants to know, what activity has been consistently the most fun for you in Destiny 2? Trent, we'll start with you, and Briar, your robot again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Thanks, to me. Uh, I Briar's say, oh, never coming back on the podcast he hates us now <laughs> <laughs> he is after Lego no green M&M's yeah it's He's a like, bad start these guys but, uh, public events I would say that's definitely still my it's consistently my favorite thing to do uh, for me there's a, I guess enough variety like I don't do them every day like I only really am doing them for the flashpoint but there always seems to be people around um, it's kind of like I don't know. I just really enjoy doing them. You're always like helping people. I was like finding the the public event where there's like one guy, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'll help you out. Unless it's that like cabal ejection rig, I'm like, oh, I don't know. Maybe we need another person. Is that the one where you have to I kill can't... the vents? Both. The yeah, vents. I oh, never yeah. can turn the vents heroic on my own, yeah. or even with one other person. I'm the worst. At it's it. it's rough. Yeah, honestly. that one's hard. Is it all? I don't even. Is it all the vents? I can't even kill one of the things or blow up one of the vents. So I'm like, oh, we're bad. You gotta have teamwork. You're just bad. Absolutely. I'm just bad. I can't. I can't even blow up one of the events. And I'm like, ah, oh, this is the worst. But I do like the public events. I've I've enjoyed them. Uh, I got them all done on my characters today. So, yeah. I'd have to say. I mean, I think probably the most fun thing overall is the raid. I really do think the raid is a lot of fun, but as far as just consistently fun to do all the time, and this is completely against anything I did in D1, I really enjoy just running around the planets, like patrols. You know, you're just, everywhere you go, it's just like, oh, there's a public event. Oh, there's a lost sector. Oh, there's some people over here. Like, I never did that in D1, but now 80% of my time, well, maybe not 80, but over half my time is spent, like, if I jump on, I may go, oh, let me go finish this whatever milestone, and I get to a planet, and maybe it's just because I'm, like, a small child, and I see bright colors and hear loud noises, and I run to them, but, like, I get to a planet, and I just start doing all these things, and then I realize it's an hour later, and I'm still just running around, so I, that's probably the most consistently fun thing for me, I think. Uh, that's gotta just, be most improved, like, if yo, they do yeah. a most improved category for Destiny 2, it's gotta be Patrol that wins it. Yeah. I definitely agree. I everything else I think you know has made improvements, but Patrol was like the biggest disappointment in Destiny. Like it was just like, eh, you know. And now there's just so much to do. So that's yeah, the biggest disappointment too. was mm-hmm. probably grinding for materials. Honestly, early, early vanilla, going around on the moon and stuff, just trying vanilla to get all the materials run. upgrade. <laughs> Thank so God I actually you don't have to it. do that. You I actually liked it, was... it in Vanilla Destiny. I thought it was fun, and I actually met a bunch of people oh, doing it. Yeah. Like, Remember you right, start yeah. doing a rotation, and then like all of a sudden you get a like a invite, like hey, you might as well start chatting. And you start talking about to random people about Star Wars or whatever. Uh, it wasn't until the dark below, and I had to regrind every exotic weapon. Oh boy! Back up, starting from scratch, that I started to hate it. Like it was like, oh my god, are you kidding me? So is that I guess, you, yeah, you think that's yours too, Briar? Uh, no, for me, fun? it's definitely the, the Crucible. The Crucible is way more fun to me uh, than anything else in Destiny 2 right now. I'm just having a blast with it, especially in the Iron Banner right now. Uh, I'll be honest with you, the, the double primary weapons just speak. It, it plays to my strengths as a player, as a not very good player. <laughs> like It very much plays to my strengths. It's like kind of keeping all the engagements at this kind of like medium distance where I can duck back behind cover if I get into trouble. I, like my KD is far higher in Destiny 2 than it is in Destiny 1. And it, I have a lot of fun playing it because you get into a group of friends and you start chatting. The raid is great. I think the raid is my second favorite, but I really like playing Crucible. Crucible's got to be my second favorite, but I'm I'm a Trials player at heart. And Countdown, Trials of, of the Nine is actually really fun yeah. in my opinion. Countdown's good. Countdown's really good. Survival was rough uh, last weekend. It was um, It was tough helping people through. But um, a, Countdown by far time. plays really smooth, in my opinion. Like going back and forth, switching sides every round, and uh, you know having uh, the objective so people actually have to push yeah. and engage. That's like the perfect thing because I was really big into the, um, Trials of Osiris when it first came out. I thought it was the funnest thing ever. I actually dipped out on Normal Crucible uh, just so I can focus on that every single weekend. But you know, after a while, it just got campy, then stickies, and then you know, it's kind of I lost. I lost my mind playing it. I just stopped enjoying it. But this revitalized it big time for me. And I can just keep on doing that. 
see as much as you know and i love trials and i played you know we started this podcast every like beginning intro like hove how was your week and it was well i played trials all weekend like that was like all i did and i like trials and i think countdown was great but trials itself just doesn't have the same draw to me i don't think in in really what, why not what is it i don't know like i don't i don't dislike it but it's just kind of like i go in and i'm like okay like i got through my flaw like let's get flawlesses let's get my my weapons and then i just is don't it too easy no no it's definitely not that um it's you know it's more like it was when trials originally came out you have some cards that you blow through and then you have some where you god you know you run into you know shacks himself um <laughs> I, I don't know. It's nothing that I dislike about it. It's just when when it first came out, it was just this new thing. I loved doing it. You know, the thrill, the adrenaline, like playing. Are you still burn out from Trials of Osiris? Maybe. Is it too similar? About You're to still burn out? Yeah. It's definitely, I, I definitely was disappointed in how similar it was. I mean, obviously, you know, because we, we had this argument on here. Uh, Lego was very much for it being different. And I said, well, that was a destiny change, you know, four V four in the game mode. That's, that's a destiny thing. Like trials itself, they called it something different. You go to a new place, but it's still win these seven games. Don't lose one. I don't know. It just, it felt like they just changed the name in some places and and made it the same thing. And it's still fun. It just doesn't do it for me. It's like Triton. He used to be exciting. He just doesn't do it for me anymore. That's why you got a new Asian. (laughs) That's why we brought him on. That's why we got mana now. (laughs) That makes sense. Uh, I have a question kind of about burnout. It's come up a little bit uh, here and there. So just kind of ask all your guys' opinions about it. So I think the prevailing thought, and I think it's true, that Bungie, and I hate kind of saying catered, but they, they obviously keep, you know, casual people in mind. They, you know, you don't have to put in a ton of time to it. But do you also think that they kind of went, because a lot of people now, the consensus seems to be that it's a very on the extreme side. Do you think they also factored in to some degree that, maybe the D1 players would be kind of burnt out and not want to re-grind back things, and they maybe missed going a little bit too high on that because there's a lot of times where I think we talked last week, like you still are doing a very similar activity even if it's in a different game. Like, yes, the gunplay's still great. That's always been consistent, but you're still doing a patrol, and the patrols are relatively the same. You're still doing trials, and it's some, well, I mean, different game of other people, but you know, we're at year four playing the same thing. Do you think that is part of it? And and maybe Bungie, I don't say they missed that mark, but maybe kind of overestimated that. Uh, I don't want to take this one because mm. I don't have an answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's, tough to, it's tough to read the motivations on yeah. this one to me. Um, I, I can definitely, I think it's a good, it's a solid theory, but it's hard to read exactly what Bungie might be thinking. My, um, my guess is uh, is that we're going to see articles coming out uh, in December or maybe September of next year that about the development troubles of Destiny 2 and how uh, a lot of the features that they wanted to get in just they just didn't have time to implement. I th- I think that's why a lot of people are having problems with end game uh why we we feel that it's a little bit content light. Uh, yeah. It's a lot of the same story that we had in Destiny 1. You know, vanilla Destiny it's have a lot of the same kind of complaints about it that we did did back then and i do think you know this is something i've said i think it's a much much better game yeah Yeah. but it's still i mean it's not perfect it's still lacking you know we've made those you know on here you guys on dcp like we've we've all made known you know there's things we think need change but in general like it's a much much better game than d1 I think the burnout games have something to do with some of our motivations and coming straight from D1 into D2 and then grinding the absolute shit out of D2. And then coming to like, you know, you're finally getting everything, but you're still within like the first month or so. And then a really huge like calm down, like you just kind of crash on it. But I think the burnout plus that kind of just kind of merged together. It's just like, what have I done? (laughs) You know, I don't know. Well, my question, and I don't want to get too far uh, into, you know, off this tangent out of of the community questions, but, you know, as we're saying that, that it's still Destiny, and I'm not of that that mindset that it's Destiny 1.5 because it's similar. Like, it's supposed to be similar. It's a sequel. It's the same characters, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But do you think, say this game is on a three-year cycle again, and we have another Mm -hmm. game drop in 2020, 
do you think that they have to to keep it alive and thriving that they have to really change the formula and come up with something completely different do you think people are going to want to play a destiny 3 that's still patrol story mission strikes raid well that was kind of my going to be my follow-up i'm glad you asked that because I, I I don't know. I, I happen to think Bungie is extremely intelligent. I think they did a ton of research and a t- put a ton of time into thinking about how to package and how to market this game and, and how that would play out to all the players. I really believe that. Not just, uh, how can we get as many people to play? I really believe they kept everybody in mind. So I actually don't know what they would have to do to go to D3 because you can, you can compound you know skepticism uh, a little bit easier than you can compound optimism. And I think, uh, especially in the second iteration, because we all talked about how D2 really had to knock it out of the park in a lot of different areas. So I think for, for us sitting here right now, I would just say in where we're at, that their first run of the D3, like their first vanilla D3, would just have to have some of the end game content that we don't have. That would be that would be my guess with refinement to how they deploy PvP from the get go. That that would be my my two things. Hmm. Anybody? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to look so far down the road because there's still I so know. much to happen in D2. But, you know, you brought up the burnout question, and it just made me think of it. Can they – it's not a complaint in any way. It's not even a criticism because it's still a Destiny game. But can they do another game that's just that's, just like this like, one? Yeah. I, I, I feel, feel like they, they just got... need to tweak things but not really change the formula. Keep the formula the same but tweak it to the point that maybe it, do, it feels new, you know? Like maybe instead of three-player co-op, have uh, a fourth, you know, uh, subclass come out, you know? So four player that would switch things up or I don't know, you know, something on the lines of just keeping it similar. I think they're going to start seeing some pretty hardcore competition coming from other games. I know a lot of people have their eyes on Anthem. Anthem, I think we're going to start seeing other games coming out um, or getting announced in the upcoming years because what on a business side, what destiny represents is huge player engagement and long-term player engagement and people uh, spending a lot of money on this game, you know, uh, Activision and Destiny are making or Bungie are making money hand over fist with this. They're keeping their players for a very long time, as opposed to you know a month or two. Um, so what you're going to see is a lot of people coming into the space and trying to replicate the success. You know, a lot of like a lot like what you're seeing with Battlegrounds right now. Uh, but yeah. um, so what what Destiny's going to have to do, or what Bungie's going to have to do, I think, is going to have to be to you know, show the path forward or get left behind. Because if if a game like Anthem comes along and, you know, improves on the PvE side tremendously but kind of leaves the PvP side behind, well, it's going to pull a lot of PvP, PvE players out. And if a game like The Division 2 comes along and improves on the, the, you know, PvP side tremendously, you know, like all these other games coming out could start pulling players mm-hmm. away. You know, obviously, the division was going to be the destiny killer. It didn't turn out that way. Um, but, you know, eventually, somebody else will figure out this formula uh, and put some competition in this player space, especially on consoles. I, I think there is there is competition in the PC world, um, but not so much on consoles. Crazy thought. What if Bungie jumps on the Battle Royale train? <laughs> And somehow, like, you know what Fortnite did? They had their own thing going with PvE. They had yeah. the, the co-op. And they're, you know, it was kind of crazy. And then just out of nowhere, Battle Royale. What if Bungie is just like, update. <laughs> like, DLC drop or something. It's just like They've already got what? the maps, right? Like Yeah, just, that's what I'm saying. Just like, picture map maps. dropping in. Maybe it's not 100 players like it is for Battle Royale. Maybe yeah, but, you know, 40 players. Or yeah, 40 players. or something like that. And you drop in and you got to find all the weapons and maybe you find an exotic. Maybe yeah. you find yeah. a sweet yeah, business. Yeah, I was about to know? say, like, what if they just, just grab random legendaries, just random loot and just plop, you know, you can run around, grab a minuet or run around, grab just random weapons, you know, from the loot pool. How crazy yeah. would that be? Like, you find a weapon you still don't have in the normal Crucible or PvE point. I don't know. It's just just crazy thought. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I I'm also just hooked on the whole battle royale thing. You could put battle royale. Yeah, I am too. It's, it's just fun anything, overall, and I'd be super excited about it. All right. Uh, next question is in chat. Joker Danube asks for all of us: Who is your favorite person to play Destiny with, and why? Who's your favorite person to play Destiny with? 
Mitch Laguna play favorites here? <laughs> yeah, that's right. why. Yeah, how do you answer that question? <laughs> like, well, I quickly eliminated Ho, but then everyone else quickly, uh, everyone else is pretty much in that pool. Uh, I yeah, mean, I'd say my kids. that question, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, that's how you, who's your fi- favorite child? <laughs> Who's your best friend? <laughs> yeah, uh, we, that's 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 a harsh one. <laughs> we're gonna skip out on that one. Well, um, I mean, I said my kids, so. All right. Uh, Follow up from Lego for Briar: horror movies or haunted houses for Halloween? Because apparently, you can only choose one. I can only choose one. I hate horror movies. I don't. I don't like how horror movies make me feel. I don't like being scared. I'd rather go to a haunted house because they're very rarely all that scary, and they're a lot of fun. Yeah, they're so much fun. Even if you get scared, it's an it's a jump, and then you just laugh at everybody. I love haunted houses. I'm moving yeah. to Canada because they're open all year round. Are they really? Wait, I'm really? pretty. Yeah, there's haunted houses in like right in Niagara Falls. There's a haunted house just open all the time. I went there in That's like awesome. February. <laughs> huh. All right. Uh, Dan Drumstone asks, "I'd like to start a new controversial food topic: pizza or calzone." Oh, Dan, I'm sorry, but this is controversial. There's only one right answer, and it's pizza. Yeah, I'm gonna go pizza. Pizza, like calzone, just kind of on the side. It still like a, exists. I don't but think Briar agrees. I think you guys are forgetting about the pizzone. <laughs> Does that count? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> I swear the pizzone is just a folded pizza. Calzone is a folded pizza that's a little bigger with more cheese. I yeah, swear it's calzone calzone cheese. is just a folded pizza. Pretty much. Yeah. It's just... uh, at least around here, I don't know. Maybe everywhere else they're better, but. Nothing's really that special around here. <clears throat> All right. I have a question from it's it's hard to read. I think it says from Little English Muffin. Oh no, I'm sorry, it says Gary Diaz. Um is D2 <laughs> those two aren't even similar. <laughs> Prior gets it. <laughs> oh, okay. Inside joke. Inside, Thanks yeah, for leaving yeah. me out. Wilson gets it. I'm Basically also, Wilson Wilson out, Gary is another member of the Revolver podcast with them. He's he's oh. a Brit. And Wilson likes to call him his little English muffin. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. English muffin would like to know, is D2 under an unfair level of scrutiny from the media and community? 147 hours played so far doesn't feel like a bad investment content-wise. I have already played this uh, game more than I've played, say, Uncharted 4, which I fucking loved. But I played it till the campaign was done, and then I goofed around a little bit, and that was it. And I was done. And I was happy, so... I but this game was, was sold to you as something more than that, right? Or something different than Uncharted was. Uncharted, you knew what you were getting. Yeah. You are getting a campaign that would last 8 to 20 hours, somewhere in that range. And then you knew that you weren't going to be doing anything else with it. Maybe you were one of the few who jumped into the multiplayer in that game. But so what was the question? Game. Like, money's worth? You think it's well, a... Like given the media scrutiny, is it fair? Worth. I think there's a scrutiny warranted. Yeah, he's saying it's is always bad investment. more harsh. Media always makes everything look more harsh than it is. I'm I still have a lot more PVE content to do. Like I'm still grinding out for things I don't have. So I'm and I've put a lot of time in it already too. So I feel like it's no, it's it's good. Yeah, we yeah. we have complaints here and there. It's it's more about once again our concerns for long term. You know, like we want the game to thrive. And that's where all of the concerns come from. I'm still having a blast. Yeah. So <clears throat> and and yeah, I agree, Briar. You know, it's definitely it was. You know, you're expecting something different with Uncharted than you are Destiny, but in the sense that if I paid 60 bucks for both of them, I'm going to play a hell of a lot more Destiny than I am Uncharted. So money-wise, sure. value-wise, I'd say, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with it. Even though I spent $300 on, and then I don't know that I did, on Destiny 1, I played it for the, almost an entire three years, like, mm-hmm. straight through. Yeah. Can you really beat that? Yeah, to the point where, like, I was I was missing great games that were coming out, because mm-hmm. I was still playing Destiny. I didn't play Overwatch for like eight months. I bought it the day it came out, and I played it, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to go play Destiny. And it took me like <laughs> yeah, eight same. months till I really started playing it. By then, everyone already was like super toxic and didn't want to play it anymore. But... <laughs> uh, well, I think... Uh, go ahead, Briar. Okay. I, th- I think it's fair to critique something uh, that you, you enjoy. I, I do. I, I mean, I, don't, I think that what's not warranted is, I think, sometimes accusations where there's proof that stands against what you're saying. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's warranted to call somebody out for not caring about you. I think those, are, those things are a little unwarranted when, when some of the media, if we're going to classify social media as media, goes too far. But I think social when you, what? Social media, if, that's, if we're classing that as, social as media. Social what? Then, so... 
Media? Okay. Uh, so, Hope, I mean, Hope thinks all these things actually work for the media. So I, I don't consider somebody that has 2,000 followers and follows 2,000 people to be media. That's just my opinion. But, you know, whatever. Um, so I, I think it's fair to critique some things that you enjoy. I don't. I just don't think it's warranted to make accusations or, or baseless accusations in the face of pretty evident proof against. That would just be my opinion on it. When, when I criticize Destiny, I feel like... I almost want, I almost want to like make the video public or private and just send it to Bungie sometimes, because I, I'm, what I'm not trying to do is talk about how I hate the game and that's how it's interpreted a lot. Yeah. We do this on DCP a lot too. It's like, yeah, I have a problem with you know a certain aspect of Destiny and I'd like I'd love to see it addressed, but it's not a game breaker. It's just something I'd like to see addressed. Now there's been problems like, you know connection issues in iron banner in destiny one that were they were harsh man like it was like a long time and they were real bad and you know like those are kind of problems just kind of went and went and went but you know overall i'm, I'm still playing the game like i'm still enjoying the game and i come on you know i come on podcasts and i talk about you know what's my favorite thing about destiny you know like that's mm -hmm. still you know that's still a conversation for me i uh, but when you put your stuff out there in like, you know, this huge media blitz, and you're talking about how like you're you're gonna become legend and save the puppies, and <laughs> you know, you're you're putting yourself out there. You're gonna. I'm sorry, but you gotta expect a little bit of, you know, if you try and you're trying to spread yourself like across like everybody. You're trying to you're trying to sell your game to everybody. Some of those people aren't necessarily your target audience for the game you actually built, but just the target audience for the marketing, you know? So some of those people are going to be upset. All right. Mr. Mojo says, this is for Briar. What is a Dutch oven? <laughs> that sounds dirty. <laughs> it, it, it's, you, it's the dirtiest, man. It's the dirtiest. It's when you part under the covers and then you, you pull the covers over your significant other's bed. <laughs> <laughs> How have I not heard of this? <laughs> I mean, it's it's dirty, but I mean, have you ever, ever heard of a rusty trombone? I'm not oh, going to tell boy. you what it is, but look it up. It's bad. I'm feeling it right now, it's, actually. The Dutch oven is literally the dirtiest thing you're probably going to get away with your life with. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair. <laughs> like, like yeah. you would actually do. <laughs> All right, um... I guess this one this one's for all of us. Also, while I'm asking this one, Briar, your little robot. -y. <clears throat> I shouldn't have Googled it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at, I can see Mana's eyes like scanning the screen right now, looking at I shouldn't have done this. I didn't even click on Urban Dictionary. I just saw the first line, you know, before like you click on the website. I'm just like, oh, okay. Gosh. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm just saying. Oh, I told no. you it wasn't gonna be good. <laughs> Hope it's just like fun time, but don't believe me. What? <clears throat> All right, um, Brock Kelly. <laughs> Get it? Broccoli. Um, before D2 launched, folks said they'd split their time between platforms a certain way. Now that it's out, has that changed for any of you? It has for me. I'm definitely going to prioritize my time on the PC. After playing the PC beta, like there's no doubt in my mind. The game, I don't even want to talk about keyboard and mouse. I don't want to talk about frame rates. I am talking about the feel of mm -hmm. the weapons in Destiny feels better on the PC than it does on console, and it was by a significant margin, and it was surprising. It, it was surprising was, yeah. how different they they felt. Like uh, talking back when uh, Ramblin was on, how he was saying how it's going to be interesting, how there's probably going to be two different metas, mm -hmm. one on console, one on PC. And it's like, wow, I've never even thought of it that way, you know. So I'm really happy to uh, jump jump back and forth, honestly. <clears throat> I uh, I don't think it changed too much for me. Um, I'm still. We'll see, because I'm still very, very new to PC gaming in general. You know, PUBG is the only game that I play on PC at the moment. I already, you know, I have it pre-ordered. I'm definitely going to play it on PC. But, and it does feel a hell of a lot better on PC. But Resolute's on, on PS4. All my friends are on PS4. And a lot will move over, you know, at least temporarily or, or part-time. So I'll definitely play a lot of both. But I would think, 
I would st- I'm still going to do most of my really serious like character grinds and stuff on PS4 and maybe use PS4 or PC just to like go have some fun, you know, cuz it does feel better kind of relax, play it, play with friends. But I think my serious gaming will still be on PS4. I only have the PS4, so that's a pretty easy easy answer for me. <laughs> there won't be any splitting. It that you don't have a PC or you don't want to try PC? Um, well, I only have actually just the the MacBook that I do this mm-hmm. podcast on, so not really even a PC to. I got you. Make a good run on there. I can hook you up with a really good bank robbery crew. We'll talk later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you hooked up. <laughs> it's actually just his podcast. Just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not the most professional, <laughs> but they do it. <laughs> I haven't gotten caught yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he calls 911 a lot, just oh, to give him yeah, calls. Yeah. Like, we're friends, right? We don't do anything bad. He's like, what, what are you talking about, Briar? He's like, That's why I thought. And just hangs <laughs> up. All right, we're gonna take there's a few more there's a bunch more questions, but we're 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 pushing pretty pretty long in the tooth here with, with questions. But I have a really good one that I liked from Botbuster. Um, I'm guessing this is for Briar because I don't think anyone well, I guess Triton has well, it doesn't matter. What is the craziest story you have of running into a fan of the stream, YouTube channel, or DCP? That's outside of, like, Guardian Con, a Destiny event. Have you met any anybody who recognized I, you? I've out? met a few. Uh, the worst ones are not when people come over, because everybody's been fucking cool when they come over. Um, the worst ones are when you find out, like, a day later, hey, I saw you at, I don't know, like, this place. You're taking photos. I'm a photographer, so I'm out like every Saturday and Sunday uh, taking photos. Oh, I saw you over at this photo shoot, and I I didn't say hi. I'm like, why didn't you say hi? <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? That's the worst. I've never had a weird one at all, to be honest with you. Mana? I'm not famous enough to get noticed outside of everything. Though, a uh, pizza delivery girl. I was wearing my <laughs> Manigator shirt. Nice. All right? She was at the door, and she's like, I like your shirt. I'm just like... I was like, oh, she recognized, like, oh, you know the Manigator? And she, she kind of brushed it off, gave me my stuff, and just went. And I was like, but, wait. <laughs> it's like, did you not notice? Wait, you, the shirt was good, but not me? me? <laughs> like, she just walked away. I'm like, I'm like okay. okay. <laughs> Throwing around, cried, ate my pizza. Just... <laughs> but you had pizza, so, I mean, all was okay. I had pizza, yeah. so, so yeah, yeah, I didn't really cry for long. <clears throat> Oh, Man, I was waiting for that to be like Gunga bringing you a pizza. I was like, kind of like, right, like very early in that story, I was waiting for that to maybe be the case. <laughs> yeah, I don't I'm not have famous any, enough to notice. Yeah, nobody knows who I am. Nobody knows who I am in the Destiny community. Um, Everyone knows who you are. Huh? I know. Do anybody else are. have like a hangover after leaving Guardian Con? I'm yes, yeah, still. Like, Speaking like, of that, I, I don't mean like a hangover, drinking hangover, like, like a literal happy. hangover. <laughs> what I mean is like a like a community hangover, like. For for like three days, it was like just like you know like all this like community and like meeting all these people that you'd seen online. It was just like so much fun, and then you come back home and oh yeah, <laughs> that crazy high, you yeah, know, yeah. and then it just disappears. You're like, did that just happen? Yeah, oh, was I sleep? Was so, <laughs> you know? It's totally not a part of my like actual Surreal. life. Something like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, especially like for us, you know, me, Mana, and Wendler flew to florida and back together stayed in the house together for was it mm-hmm. five days along with with some other resume members but like you know we we were friends online but it was like a, a constant like five days from airport to ho- to house to guardian con to airport we were together like the whole time and then it's like you said you're just kind of like you you're like the flight's over we're sitting there still playing video games and it's like all right guys see ya and then you realize like oh i'm not gonna see them again in real life for another year like it's yeah. It's, yeah. it's weird. It is weird. Yeah. But Friday night, first uh, 2018 Guardian Con uh, info blast coming up. Two days. Oh, nice. Hey. Get them tickets early. I know, right? Mm. But... Use coupon code DCP when you buy your scuff, so you get get me some free tickets. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean that's a long way away, but that's something I'm definitely oh. really looking forward to again. That was. Uh, you can't even explain to someone who didn't experience it how, how much fun it was. You really can't. All right. Yeah, it's more. hard. I can't wait to go back next year. I know. We got one more question, only because I forgot, and I feel like Briar will have fun with this question. Um, so for a while, Rally Bubba had a question that he liked to ask every guest, and I, I promised him I would ask it today. 
So this is a really important one, Briar. You're going to have to really think hard about this. Yes, I would fuck Big Bird. Done. That's not the question, but <laughs> mic drop. Done. And this is how we end the stream. This really isn't all that much different, to be fair. Um, so you've heard the, you know, you've heard the phrase like, "Go eat a bag of dicks," right? <laughs> uh, often. Yeah. <laughs> From family and friends. Yeah. Um, what does the bag? If you pictured someone with a bag of dicks, uh -huh. what kind of bag is it? Oh, like paper or plastic, or is it like one of those like uh, bring your own bags, like you bring to the? You tell me. It's a good question. I mean, let's see. Ba a bag of dicks. It depends on how many dicks are in the bag. How much does an average dick weigh, and how many dicks are there? Let's go with an average weight of a pound. Is that a heavy dick, or is that, that seems a, like, like a? It seems like, yeah, a, really seems like a pretty is heavy. Involved in the dick? Do we like? <laughs> are you hung? <laughs> I've just never weighed my dick. I feel like we're on Silicon Are we about Valley. Like, erect? <laughs> like, does, I think there's some more questions. Does the bag of dick also have balls in it? Uh, no, it's, it's just right. bag of dicks, right? So Hold on, no I'll tell you how much a dick weighs. I'll be back. It, otherwise, they would say bag of dick and balls. Right. I think it's just yeah, dicks. Yeah, I think you're right. Just dicks. All just right. dicks. I definitely want to go with something plastic because I don't want any you know juices flowing out of that thing. I think they're dry dicks. Well, they can be any kind of dicks you want, brother. Yeah. I mean, are they freshly <laughs> removed dicks? <laughs> freshly removed. <laughs> That's I, another question I never thought of. When I don't I really know where to go from here. <laughs> I don't know what I to feel do. like the next time we ask our next like person, whoever we have on here, we need to actually have some... Some more information for them yeah, because right. he's asking the real questions right we're now. We get some governance around these dicks. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a shopping bag, plastic. Just one or like doubled up? Yeah, you definitely want to double bag those dicks. <laughs> Actually, <I'm sorry. laughs> but are we averaging like six to maybe a dozen dicks in a bag? It's however, like... many, it's however many dicks you want, mana. That's or they're on sale. So I, I don't think you have to buy oh, them. Like I think you just have a dicks? bag. You just have a bag. Oh, okay, okay. Someone just brings you a bag of dicks and says, eat these. Why do I have a bag of dicks? <laughs> better question is, why don't you have a bag of dicks? No, no, that's not the better question. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a beer for this one. He's like, I don't know what these Rezo cats do. You know, <laughs> what, did I get, what did I sign up for? <laughs> I, I'm out of... I, I'm done. That's it. Community questions are over. We're going with double-bagged plastic with lots of one-pound <laughs> dicks. Plastic. We're not one looking pound. out for the environment. We're just trying to keep the dicks from leaking onto the upholstery. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> why are they all leaking? <sighs> is that why they were removed? Is that why they were the, removed? What like are they one? leaking is the better now. question. There could be all sorts of shit. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you're going to have to. a lot of editing, Lego. <laughs> he hasn't been in chat in a while. Is he, like, now driving back? He gave up on us. Yeah, he just he later. threw his phone out the window and was like, oh, he just said, what kind of podcast is this? <laughs> <sighs> I mean, we were, we derailed in the intro, so he I'd had like, to have known I'd like to that hear, this was going to happen. Listen, I'm going to bring this back full circle to Destiny. I'd really like to hear Shax discuss a bag of dicks. That would be With amazing. Thousand. Definitely not Saladin, man. It sounds like he's got a case of the blues. Oh, I don't know, Shaxton, though. He's going to get excited about that bag of dicks. Saladin's pretty <laughs> sedate. Have you heard of him? Iron... <laughs> Saladin... Have you heard of Iron Banner, though? Like, during the games? Saladin's pretty seductive sounding lately, though. Mm. Mm. Like have, you heard the... have you heard his uh, We Ran Out Metals line? Yeah. Mm. That's pretty good. Not because I got one. <laughs> no, I didn't get one either, <laughs> actually. <laughs> but... I mean, it was on the internet. But... <laughs> All right, um, Dude, he, so that's it for community questions. I think we're gonna have to just move on from that because there's no nowhere to go. Is there moving on? Yeah. And there's, well, we normally would move on to the TWAB, but uh, there there isn't one. Yeah, we figured that out um, eventually. But what we didn't really get into, we we did touch on a little bit, but this week has been Iron Banner. Mm. What do you guys think? Having fun? It's fun so far. Seven hours today. I was actually having a lot of fun. 
I was just playing with whoever would pretty much join me from uh, chat. And yeah. so far, I got a few weapons that didn't feel too bad. They didn't feel <laughs> underwhelming. <clears throat> I, I hate to go back to this, but um, in oh, chat, TJ it. Man just put a Shax when you get a bag of dicks. Quote, I can't wait to see what you do with that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good oh, one. Uh, one of the lines. One of the lines when the game is about to end. Alazar says, here comes the glorious dawn. dawn. And I've said every single time, here comes the glorious dawn. Every time he said that so far. <sighs> he failed kind of back on track, still on dicks, but we're there. <clears throat> this is why we have missed 5,000 watts on our podcast, to keep us from just talking about dicks for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's generally why we have Lego, but he left, so. Yeah, Lego's not here. Oh, um, I'm loving the Iron Banner. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I, I, I'm still not convinced if I love the four v four concept yet over six v six for Iron Banner. What I do love is the connection quality compared to Iron Banner in Destiny One, and I'm liking the armor. I'm liking the loot a lot. The weapons are a little iffy for me. They're definitely reskins of other weapons. None of them, except the fusion rifle, I'm pretty hot on. Uh, but none of them are, like, really spectacular to me. But the armor is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And I'm having fun just playing the Iron Banner because it's it's always been an event to me where it's just a good excuse to get a bunch of people together and grind out some Crucible. And I've always I've always enjoyed it for that. So I, I'm having a good time. Yeah, I've done, I mean, I've like I said, when we opened, I've enjoyed it so much. I'm helping out a friend by just playing on his account for like an hour or so before the podcast. But uh, I agree with you, Briar. That's what always was Iron Banner to me was there was a lot of my friends who didn't really like playing Crucible all the time, but they'd always come back for Iron Banner. So having sixes, you just get as many of those people in as possible. So uh, but I've really enjoyed it. I think I, I didn't even notice the connection. That's how good they've been. I've not like noticed. I'm like, oh, my gosh, this guy's lagging everywhere. So I think that's been really good. And uh, control just plays out better. I don't know. I feel like I'm actually getting, like, I'm not getting team fired all the time. Like, consistently, there's, like, times where you're getting a nice one-on-one -on -one every now and then. So I, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, I think out is... of, like, the seven hours or so that I played, I think I've only seen a couple laggy games now that you say that. I never even thought about the connection, like, versus D1. That's, uh, yeah, it's actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> I saw one guy that was one of the laggiest I've seen ever but other, outside of that one guy, everything's been really good. His name was Eddie. Eddie. Yeah, he yeah, sounds Eddie. like a lagger. Um, <laughs> all, of a, all of a sudden, he like teleported, and I was like, where'd Eddie go? And then I found him running into a wall, and I shot him for a little while. He just didn't care. He gave no fucks. And um, I was like, oh, he's going to get booed. And then I saw him again later. And uh, yeah, He's just know. here and there. Yeah, he's just all over the place. So, Eddie, if you're out there, GG's. You guys happy that it's Control? I've been really enjoying Control yeah. just over and over yeah. again. It's always been one of my favorites in Destiny's Crucible. Surprisingly, because in D1, I actually really hated Iron Banner. I, I disliked okay. it a lot. I don't know if it was the 6v6, the connection, maybe a little bit of both. I was that guy that used, um, what was that fusion rifle that went full auto? Uh, that Pocket everyone Infinity. Hated because oh. Pocket Infinity. I was that guy that just... <laughs> Gave up on hope and just pocket infinity people <laughs> until I got rage messages. <laughs> I was that guy that just trolled. This is me. Or I was a streamer. I was, I was a bag of dicks. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start calling people bag of dicks. You're such a bag of dicks, dude. Um... <laughs> is that the context? I thought it was go suck a bag of dicks. Well, I, I, think it's just, bag of dicks. I think it's E. Yeah. yeah, I think most generally it's go eat a bag of dicks. Go eat a bag of dicks. Yeah. I don't bag. know why, you know, you're going to eat them. Like, do they come with, like, here's the, here's the next question. Do they come with, like, condiments? Or do you just have to just, just eat? C condoms? Con <laughs> no, condiments. <laughs> I don't know. Like, different, come with different flavors or something? Wait, wait. I'm sorry, Brad. They come with what? Mine come with compliments. <laughs> 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 if they're a pal of each. <laughs> that, sir, is a gorgeous bag of dicks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See, well, to, to, God, Lego's going to kill me. But to go back to that, my answer, my answer was always, I've never seen any, like, as soon as that question was presented to me, I immediately saw, like, a burlap sack, like, carried over one shoulder. 
Yeah, yeah. That's like what I saw. Um, I mean, if these are like freeze dried dicks, or if they're, <laughs> you know, like they're, is that a thing? Been around like, a while and they're nice and dried out. Like that's great. Burlap sabbath is good to go. These are fresh dicks, man. Those things are going to be leaking all over the place. And have like dick juice running <laughs> yeah. down your back. <laughs> and DJ oh, Man and Chad is like, are they steam? bag is going to be great. <laughs> Uh, my favorite, uh, a friend of mine Did in real life. Did they go well with wine? <laughs> man, it's like, yeah. <laughs> would you know, man? Would you go like some, with this question? Would you like some cheese and wine with your dicks? <laughs> <laughs> my Comes favorite, with a bread bowl. <laughs> my favorite answer was one of my friends. Like, he got real serious. And he said, uh, I think it's like a, a white gym bag with black handles. And I was like, What? Like why? Oh. Why have you ever even huh. like? I don't know. But now we've gotten even more in depth, so I guess I can't say anything to him. Oh boy. But uh, anyway. Um, can't wait I, for next week's question. Iron Banner. <laughs> um, I really, I, I do think the armor is awesome. The whole like mm, samurai yeah. theme is really cool. The feudal um, Japan like armor set. That's mainly the reason why I'm grinding for it. Yeah. Like I want all my characters decked out in that. I've yeah. gotten one piece <laughs> of Iron Banner armor. I got the Warlock gloves, which look like most other gloves. So that I'm a little disappointed about. But I mean, that's it's Wednesday. Not mm -hmm. has anybody gotten a full set? Like, is yeah. It, is it possible? possible on Twitter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have the helmet and the chest piece so far, and uh, for a Titan, and. The helmet for the tie looks pretty badass. You have like horns and stuff. It's, like it's pretty the top knot. Cool. Yeah, the top knot. It looks pretty cool. The hunter <laughs> helmet looks really good too. And the hunters kind of are lacking some good gear, I feel like. That's yeah. Well, speaking of the gear, how do you guys feel about the fact that just kind of everything's available? I know we've talked about this in general, but just Iron Banner, instead of having, you know, these two guns and these two armor pieces this week, that you can get everything. Good or bad? Yay or nay? Uh, well, I mean, like, then we just say oh, you've seen some people have everything. I mean, I don't, I don't personally know anyone that has everything. So so far, I mean, we only two days into the event, though. I mean, I don't, I don't, I guess I don't see a problem with it. But I don't. I mean, if if someone ends up with everything and they're going to be the person on, well, you I mean, know, on even, their media I mean, saying that they are never playing this again, then not even that it's a problem. But I mean, do you do you like the fact that you can just go out and grind the crap out of it and get everything, or did you like the fact that hey, I'm going to get well, I guess part of it is without random rolls, just having two weapons would mm. really take the fun out of it. But before yeah. it was, hey, I'm going to grind for this hand cannon. I want this good roll. So I guess they two... made it to where you can get everything you wanted now because maybe every month it's a different theme. I don't know if they're putting that much effort or thought into it, but I mean, that would be pretty cool if they're yeah, just switching I mean... it up. Maybe maybe it's a couple sets per couple months, you know, and they're just kind of for the seasons. Maybe yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say, and this maybe one does seasons. say oh, yeah. seasonal. There is seasonal about like, written in this one. So mm -hmm. it does say season. If the gear does change for the season, then I like how it's set up. Yes. If yeah. it, mm -hmm. it's the same all year, now I like the old way better. Yeah. Well, like I said, I, I never thought of it that way, but, you know, without the random rolls, if they did it the old way, you'd really lose any reason to play the game very quickly. Not to play very the game, quickly. but to play Iron Banner very play Iron quickly. Banner. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I do think that if they don't do it where the gear changes for the seasons or the rolls on it or something, that's a really big mistake because right now I think that's a really good way, you know, here, you can get everything, grind the crap out of it, and next time it'll be a different season and it'll be different and you have new stuff. So I like that. I just hope it actually does that. And if they do that, instead of getting the, like, road complex boots for, like, the eighth time, can we get the season one gear as a random drop in those packs? No. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> no. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. I gone forever. Boots. I need the boots. I can't get these road complex boots. I have five, I have five pairs. One of the coolest things was ha pulling out, like, year one Iron Banner stuff in year three. Mm -hmm. Even though you're, like, yeah. too light. It was cool walking around the tower and, like, watching people go, <laughs> is that Lord Salad? Yes. <laughs> yes, Guardian. <laughs> yeah, I um what do you guys think of the weapons? You you a fan of the weapons at all? The only thing I've gotten worthwhile is the pulse, which I think is pretty decent. I like it. It's kinda like a um grasp of Malik. That's why I'm kinda getting the vibe is it from that it. fast? Just, yeah, not as long range and I think has a little bit more recoil, I feel. Oh, definitely but it's kind of, recoil. It's kind of on the lines of that that I'm getting. So I got that, the auto rifle, 
the fusion rifle, which is pretty decent. The fusion rifle is pretty good, in my opinion. And the grenade launcher, which I've only gotten to use the grenade launcher once. And I immediately died, so I didn't really get to use it. <laughs> so I can't really... It doesn't have it. proximity to that, right? No, I think it's a delayed. Or either that, or I just sucked at shooting it. And I immediately <laughs> died, so I can't tell. <clears throat> but auto rifle is not bad. Auto rifle is like... What's that AR? It's skate lock slash the raid auto ish type somewhere around there. Okay. Is that the it doesn't same? have the, the perks that people really value in the crucible. It does or doesn't? It, does, it doesn't. doesn't have uh hmm. what is it? It's the one that Origin Story has. Uh the the kill one where you get more damage. Is that the one? Yeah. Kill clip. Kill clip. No, it's not called kill clip on that though. Oh. It's something different. Um, and it doesn't have uh, high caliber rounds like the skate locker, the aerial. Hmm. People are telling me the SMG is actually pretty good, and it comes with high caliber rounds. I think it was. Hmm. I think it was the SMG. I don't have one yet, so I don't know. I feel like an SMG <laughs> with high caliber rounds is gross. Yeah. <laughs> Extra gross. Even more gross than like Triton. <laughs> really, we're gonna go with me? We talk about bag of dicks for like thirty minutes, and we're gonna go with me as the gross thing. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> He's like, what's the grossest thing I can think of? Okay. <laughs> nah. Dripping bag of dick. Yeah, like the <laughs> leaking. We're talking about leaking. <laughs> talking about like things to eat with it. And Briar's our guest. I can't call him gross. <laughs> At least not till after the podcast. <laughs> Even though he did tell me he was gonna punch me in the face. That's true, and I stand I, by that. I can. I fully condone that. I second that. Can I second that? One thing I can kind of complain about Iron Banner in this time around is the lack of uh, unique looking weapons. Yeah. I guess uh, people have been calling them out on the Bungie out on, and someone actually had a gif of like what the weapon looked like and stuff like before and after. <clears throat> That's kind of disappointing. I, I still stand by it. The AR should have been an actual wolf with the tail being. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be cool, man, you know? <laughs> the uh, Iron Banner weapons had gotten so cool by the end of Destiny 1's lifespan. It was a little a little disappointing, especially with how cool the armor is that they were just kind of reskins mm. other stuff. Yeah. But I was actually I was worried that they weren't going to have it at all because if you remember the TWAB last week, they mentioned the armor. They didn't say mm. anything about the weapons. I was wondering, like, are they not going to have weapons? Yeah. Iron Banner? And did you notice, though, they tweeted a day or two later about Iron Banner, and they put, like, you can get all these rewards. Geared, blah, 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 and then in all caps, and weapons. And weapons it's like yeah. they realized, like, people were like, what? No weapons? Everyone was panicking. Yeah, yeah. it's like, no weapons. <clears throat> um, I do have one more uh, community question. This one's from Hove76, um, and he's curious, Briar, since you said TWAB and it made me think of that, uh, do you get triggered every time Pope Bear calls it the THWAB like I do? I understand Pope Bear, and I love Pope Bear. I understand what he's doing. He 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 used to legitimately think it was Thwab. He got corrected so many times, <laughs> and he's like, "Fuck you! I'm going with it now." <laughs> so no, I enjoy it. <laughs> I, I said love- something to him one time about it, and he just gave me that. like a you know a Pope page. Like, it's it's Thwab. That's it. And just we moved on. I was like, all right, <laughs> yeah, all right, cool. All right, well, uh, unless you guys have anything else you'd like to throw out, I think we've talked about dicks for an hour and a half, so I think we've hit our quota. I think we're good to go. Anybody? Well, Anybody got anything? Uh, dick talk. Yeah. <laughs> now there's, now there's behind the scenes evening. dick talk afterwards. You guys you let go, you leave us one day. <laughs> Do you know what's funny, though? I'm, no, I'm pretty sure this is at least the third time that Lego hasn't been here, and it's every time we end the episode with something like, See, Lego, you leave one time, and look what happens every time. Every time. This is the first time I think he left you guys with me, you know, <laughs> me being you. <laughs> pattern. I see a pattern of behavior emerging. Yeah, and it's... Lego is clearly the adult in this group. <laughs> yeah. That, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's 100% for sure. But, uh, well, I guess we're going we're gonna to close it down then. Um Briar, thank you so much for coming on. It was it was Thanks a for blast. Me, guys. This was a ton of yeah, fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Like talking about a bag of dicks with a bunch of guys on a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Takes me back Maybe to my high school days. 
Um, Good time. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even remember. Lego. What do I do now? <laughs> what do we do? End the show. Talk about I'm... where you can find us. Where you can find. Right now, I was. I was kidding. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I hate you. Um, so. so anyway, uh, guys, that's been Rezocast episode fifty-five. Thank you so much to everyone who came. Uh, I'm Hove seventy-six. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, and I don't know. I guess YouTube at Hove seventy-six. That's H O V seven six Triton. Yeah, you can find me on all the same places, all under Triton. Please, one word, the please being P-L-Z. How about you, Mana? You can find me on mainly on Twitch, Twitter, and sometimes maybe one day, possibly kind of in the future, YouTube, at the Mana Gator. All just the, nothing, like just the Mana Gator. Yeah, I ruined it. Oh, where, where can we find you, Briar? <laughs> I stream on Twitch every day at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, you can find me on YouTube. Just look up uh, Briar Rabbit. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, just look up at the Briar Rabbit. Or you can find me on YouPorn. Just look up Briar Rabbit. Oh, nice. <laughs> Christianbingo.com. You know I'm there. <laughs> you can also find us, uh, Rezocast, on Twitter, at Rezocast. Uh, feel free to hit us up anytime. We'd love to talk with all you guys. Uh, you can listen to the podcast on YouTube, Google Play, iTunes. Leave us a review. We love you. And Team Resolute, at Team Resolute on Twitter and TeamResolute.com. Also, I just want to throw out there, Lego, just let us know in chat that the official episode title is Iron Banner and a Bag of Dicks. <laughs> so, well done. We got it into the title, guys. Good job. I'm proud of you. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Until next week, uh, GG. GG. Always read. <laughs>